Um, this is a Rick Turner we got here, um, LB1, LB for Lindsey Buckingham, uh, one of my favorite guitar players. Uh, I saw him at Berkeley when I was attending there and literally by himself had me in tears <laughs> in the audience, which was overwhelming, but he really influenced uh, my guitar playing in terms of this guitar is almost like an electric acoustic, but without the feedback. So you can turn it up and get that really like picky sound that you would get on an acoustic string, but really amplified. And I love the shape of the body. It almost looks like a old like little cello or violin. Kind of reminds me of the Hofner bass, like McCartney, you know, small, but looks like orchestral in a way. Um, but yeah, let's um, take a listen to this. It's got an active pickup. That's what we're going to be using now. Here's without. You'll notice right away with. So this is an original piece, and uh, this was influenced by Lindsey Buckingham. Uh, he had a song called Big Love that uh, was originally off Tango in the Night. It was the first song, one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac records. and. Um, he did an acoustic version at the the dance live record, and uh, when I heard the guitar playing, it was borderline like hearing eruption for me, but on acoustic guitar. So um, this was influenced by that piece. It's a hybrid picking, um, and I'll show you how it goes. Here we go. It's called Through the Night. ecstatic when it came in because Lindsay's a huge influence on me but um, and also John Mayer played these for a little while but it's got a all mahogany uh, body and a rosewood neck and um, the real thing that makes this guitar interesting is the hot humbucker and uh, it's got a preamp built in where you can get wah type sounds um, I'll show you it's very uh, dramatic <laughs> And uh, it's in standard tuning. I just keep the capo on it, um, just like Lindsay would. And uh, like I said, the thing that I think is really cool about this guitar is the versatility. You get an acoustic type sound. You know, you can hear like the real plucky. It breaks up like a like steel string acoustic. But you can also uh, rock out with this thing, as I've seen Lindsay do too. And I'll just turn up the amp a little bit here. Mostly when you're using distortion, you want to keep the preamp off because it's extremely hot, but that's how you get that acoustic sound. And when it's off, it, it's a rocker and you can do leads, you can play with a full on band, but uh, it's a very versatile guitar and uh, really cool to see these come by. They don't come often.